People in Gross Point Shores tonight are split in a debate over what to do about dangerous dogs. That's right. Should an ordinance include a breed specific ban? The question stems from an alleged attack involving a pit bull. 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozargian tells us where the debate stands right now. A lot of discussion here tonight, but no decision. What I can tell you is an all out pit bull ban is still on the table. There was a man who spoke here tonight against the ban. He pointed out this statue in front of City Hall looks a lot like his dog Dolly. Ironically, she's a pit bull. So this is she has three scars and this is where her leg was amputated. 14 year old Maddie the cockapoo was allegedly attacked on June 4th by a pit bull. Her owners, Dana and Mike Owen, say the dog was off its leash and strong enough to pull both of them to the ground. We were on the ground for probably three, three and a half minutes trying to fight it off and um, I was punching it in the face. Dana Owen says the dog was not removed from the home. The reason, according to the city, was because the owners were new in town and able to provide proof of vaccination and promised to supervise and quarantine the dog. They weren't reprimanded or it wasn't managed immediately in a very forceful way. I think it would have gone a long way if that had occurred. Now the Owens and residents fearing to walk their own dogs want to change. One solution on the table, a ban on pit bulls in Gross Point Shores. Pit bull, when they bite, they tend to lock their jaws and you can't get them to release. And so um, that's kind of why we're pushing for that Read. All public commenters at tonight's meeting spoke out against the ban. They think the issue is with the owner, Ken Welch, a pit bull lover, being one of them. Sure, come here, come here. Let's come focus on. on tightening up some of the some of the laws and regulations about owning a dog. You know, to protect the public, if that's if that's the intent, and act on logic rather than emotion. Council was presented with sample ordinances. Legally, pit bull bans have been upheld, but are strongly opposed by organizations like the American Bar Association, the American Kennel Club, and the Humane Society. Now, I don't know where we're going to go with this down the road because we're just beginning this process. But we can't ignore facts of stated history of injury. There were two issues that were discussed in depth tonight, and one of them had to do with residents who already have pit bulls. What will happen to their dogs under the proposed ban? And the other issue is how will the city be able to tell the dog is a pit bull because there are so many mixed breeds out there? Those are two matters they're going to discuss at the next city council meeting. In Gross Point Shores tonight, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News. Okay, Alex, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out.